Yo, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to show you how to get fusion cores super, super easy and they're fully charged. So uh, this makes it really awesome to be able to just constantly get fusion cores throughout the day as you keep this workshop. Uh, the workshop is over here located by the, the power plant. Um, somebody's shooting like crazy out there. Uh, so if you look at Fallout uh, or Vault 76, you go straight down and uh, boom, it's uh, the power plant. So this place also drops a few other things too. So you got you got food, you got aluminum, concrete, nuclear, lead, and also water. If you were interested in that stuff, um, I like taking the lead, and I always like taking the fusion cores. So this is the spot right here. Um, you go ahead, and you got to clear out the whole spot. So let me go ahead and do that. See, once you're done finishing that, you should receive some caps, and then you go ahead to this uh, workstation. You claim the workstation of course it's going to flag you for pvp and it costs uh, a little bit of caps so be aware of that so if you're on the normal servers i'm on a private server right now so i have no worries of getting attacked by people but um if you're on the normal server you could get attacked and it's during the process of this happening once this process is over you don't have to worry about getting attacked so don't worry about that um players can take your shop over so um what i've done to actually avoid people wanting to kill me all the time was that i would leave everything unlocked that way they can go ahead and they can loot stuff too because i notice a lot of people don't even come around the bases because i guess some of them are scared especially newer players and then veteran players if they see that it's locked they'll probably try to kill you or take your shop from you so uh keep that in mind but you see right here straight from where the the actual thing is this is the fusion core one. So what you need is you need a hundred uh, energy in order to power this thing up. And um, I've noticed that after about 20 minutes of this thing pumping, uh, you can probably come back to getting one, two, or even three fusion cores sitting in there. I've only seen three maximum sitting in there at one time. I don't know if it goes any higher than that, but um, that's a lot. Like that's really awesome, especially since they're a hundred percent on their fusion core um let me defend this place so the first thing i'm gonna do is just put some traps down or just turrets at least to defend the place i like to slap down the turrets like this so these kind of space it out give plenty of uh defense that way when something comes and attacks which um usually right as soon as you take it there's gonna be something that attacks you so keep that in mind and then uh, i also like to put the turrets on this side too because there is a lead deposit on this side this is the lead one right here so also the extractors do not you don't need a plan for it so you can easily make these without even knowing how to craft resources here it is so you can cycle through the resources until it it turns green you see and this is the lead one this one requires 10 energy so let me plop out this one here. I think this one is good enough. Or actually, this one, oh, this one's better. This one's 10, exactly. Here we go. Connect the wire to it. Boom, and there it is, it's pumping. So after um, about 20 minutes is usually what I do. I'll come back and I'll check on it, get the lead from this, and then I'll come over here and I'll get the, the fusion cores from this one. That's usually my process. This one requires 100. So uh, I definitely recommend you guys get the fusion reactor. So this one right here. To get the plan for this, you would have to do the power plant event. So you see this one powering up Poseidon. That pops up so many times. You could probably jump servers over and over until it pops up for you. But um, it's super easy. And, and you can just kind of run through that. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to run through it because it can be kind of confusing and i noticed that a lot of people don't do it because it doesn't drop legendaries so you'll pretty much be on your own doing it so uh that will be a second video that i'll, I'll post i'll put it in the description that way you guys can click on it if you get lost in there trying to figure out how to power up the, the power plant I don't have enough gear right now, I just noticed, so I'm not able to even put it down. If I if I could plop this thing down, I could easily just connect the, the wire to it, and boom, it'll start making some fusion cores. And it's really awesome, especially if you plan on staying on one server and not server hopping all over the place. This will give you so many fusion cores over time. 
And um, if you're on a private server, you have even better chances of you like getting it constantly. That way you don't have to worry about PvP. The only thing you have to do is periodically check on your base because you will have to defend it every once in a while from uh, from creatures and stuff, which I'm doing right now. I got to defend it from mole rats, but the turrets are doing a good job of uh, keeping this place clear. So anyway, but that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.